Hello relatives! Welcome to this week's Schlagbite for the week June 21st, 2010, entitled My Moonbeam Dream. Once a year, my friend, colleague, and brother Patch Adams and his Gesundheit Institute in collaboration with the School for Designing Society at the University of Illinois put on a workshop that focuses on redesigning the healthcare system. And it's attended by healthcare providers, administrators, patients, students, musicians, cyberneticists, community organizers, and an assortment of other dreamers, all of whom believe that we can design our future rather than just react to it. My part in the program is to present a vision of mental health care that is a real paradigm shift from the current disease-based model. You know what that is. The current system for getting help with problems is based on declaring people mentally ill. We give sufferers an official diagnosis, which is how your provider gets paid. The Diagnostic Bible of Mental Illnesses is the uh, Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, or DSM. And a new incarnation of the DSM, the DSM-5, is soon going to appear that will list over 500 diseases. The original DSM, published 40 years ago, had less than 50 diseases. And it's because what we have in contemporary life is that psychiatry has declared unacceptable behaviors and feelings as mental illnesses, which is why 25% of all Americans now carry a mental illness diagnosis. It's interesting that the epidemic rise in mental illnesses has come at the same time that drugs have been discovered to treat these symptoms. And the psychiatrists who create these diseases are distinguished academicians and researchers who practitioners, insurers, governments, and people in the judiciary listen to. These distinguished psychiatrists are paid by pharmaceutical companies for recommending these drugs and through direct-to-consumer advertising have convinced the public that if they are feeling anything other than wonderful in every moment, they could be suffering from a disease. For example, if you're shy or unfocused or fidgety, if you're sad, anxious, or angry, if you think about sex too much, you could have a disease. And you should ask your doctor because there is a pill that can cure it. Most of these so-called mental illnesses would go away if they were faced directly and with some supportive therapy. But more than half of the millions of adults and children who are taking potent psychoactive drugs are not involved in any therapy at all. All they do is get refills for their medications. My vision of mental health care is a community-based system that's not based on disease intervention, but based on prediction and prevention. A community that comes together to share its resources and help each other before its members are declared sick and or disabled. People coming together from diverse backgrounds who can share their experience, their wisdom, their healing strategies. It's in sharing our stories that we make sense of our lives and that inspire us for the future. Patch and I have shared such a vision for years, and I've spoken about it before. We still have not been able to sell it to a large city. It's called the Patch Adams Full Moon Festival. It's a three-day gathering where people reach out to support each other. For example, parents of kids who may be inattentive, overactive, and unfocused will talk about what they've discovered is effective other than the use of medications. Native American veterans who were welcomed home in traditional returning warrior ceremonies will talk to other veterans among whom PTSD is rampant, but in Native Americans is rarely seen. There'll be adults who are taking care of their aging and infirm parents who will learn new strategies and find support. You get the idea. People coming together to share their experience. 
At the Full Moon Festival, we will be clowning in hospitals. There will be ecological projects on the streets. There will be music and theater, puppetry, storytelling, and of course, a colorful closing feature, which is Pat's favorite pastime, and that is a record-breaking number of people mooning in the same place at the same time. I ended my presentation at the workshop by suggesting that the greatest impact that we could have on the mental health of the world would be to outlaw direct-to-consumer pharmaceutical advertising. And the room erupted into applause with people chanting, Full Moon Fest! Full Moon Fest! So here you have it. This is my moonbeam dream. A chance to practice what is the future of healthcare. A future of prediction and prevention. Take a look at some pictures I've enclosed, and if you're interested in hearing more about how we can heal in community, read my new book, Kindling Spirit, Healing from Within, which is appearing in monthly installments online. And you can access it directly from my website at www.healingdoc.com. I wish you well. Have a wonderful week. Remember your father on this Father's Day week, because your father is always going to remember you. I say this for all my relations. Have a great week. Mitakwiasi.